Can we upgrade our IQ by Dr. Aaron Uman? A regular contributor to Unique Times Magazine's health section delves into IQ enhancement, emphasizing genetics and environmental factors like education and nutrition. He mentions how cognitive training and nutrition can affect IQ, along with factors such as breastfeeding and music. The Flynn Effect illustrates rising IQ scores over time due to societal changes, highlighting the importance of both genetics and environment in cognitive development. The IQ of an individual is multifactorial and is determined by a multitude of factors. Nature and nurture work together in determining human intelligence. Human IQ is characterized by a high level of heritability. However, various modifiable environmental factors like education, premature birth, nutrition, pollution, drug and alcohol abuse, mental illnesses and diseases can have an influence on an individual's IQ by reinforcing or weakening genetic susceptibility. Although IQ attempts to measure some notion of intelligence, it may fail to act as an accurate measure of intelligence. IQ tests only examine particular areas of intelligence, failing to account for certain areas which are also associated with intelligence, such as creativity or emotional intelligence. Genetics account for around 50% as per many studies and increasing with age. Shared and non-shared environments account for 25% and 20%, respectively, the latter 5% being represented by errors in the evaluation of cognitive abilities. However, the role played by genetics and environment does not remain the same during the entire lifetime. People with high IQ genotypes pick stimulating environments and end up with high IQs. When we're kids, the brain is still growing and developing, so there's the chance for the environment, mental stimulation, nutrition, to affect its development. But by the time we're adults, the brain has peaked, so the environment can no longer affect it very much. Ronald Wilson presented the first clear and compelling evidence that the heritability of IQ increases with age. Wilson Effect During brain aging, several environmental insults can produce a neuronal damage by inducing oxidative stress and inflammation. Neurons protection and repair play a crucial role in order to prevent neuronal damage. These defense and repair processes are genetically determinate. However, there are still so many limitations to our current knowledge about the particular genes involved in determining IQ. Factors that affect IQ Number 1. Genetic Different studies have placed the genetic component at different levels ranging from 30, 80 percent. But it is noted that the level of genetic influence increases with age, at least from childhood through to early adulthood. Twin studies show that identical twins' IQs are more similar than those of fraternal twins. Our brain structure and functionality contribute to our level of intelligence. Specific features that may affect IQ include the size and shape of the frontal lobes, the amount of blood and chemical activity in the frontal lobes, the total amount of gray matter in the brain, the overall thickness of the cortex and the glucose metabolic rate. Well-functioning pathways correlate to better brain functioning, brain efficiency and information processing, which all point to better IQ scores. It should be noted that the correlation with brain size is not simple. Autism is also correlated with brain size in ways that are likely controlled by genes, although there are, of course, disturbed neuronal pathways in autism. Number two, environmental factors. We may be genetically predisposed to a certain brain volume, structure and pathways, a certain level of intelligence set by our biology. But how much we achieve isn't based on biology alone. The type of life we lead also affects intelligence. Researchers theorize that if intelligence is purely biological, identical twins separated at birth should still have equal IQs, but that's not always the case, they find. Genetic effects cause bright children to seek out more stimulating environments that further increase IQ. Programs aiming to increase IQ would be most likely to produce long-term IQ gains if they cause children to persist in seeking out cognitively demanding experiences. Recent studies have shown that training in using one's working memory may increase IQ, but it is not clear how long improvements persist after training stops. Improvements in nutritional policy have been implicated in the worldwide increase in IQ. Prenatal and early nutrition are linked to brain structure, behavior, and intelligence. There is evidence that providing a high-nutrient diet to very premature babies, particularly males, can help to reduce the loss of brain size and IQ often experienced by these babies. Zinc, iron, folate, iodine, B12, 
and protein deficiency can also result in low IQ. Breastfeeding may have some small effect on IQ, but the effect may be explained by confounding factors including maternal intelligence. The association is conflicted by studies reporting positive and null effects. More research would be needed to confirm this. Supplementation with creatine significantly increased intelligence in the elderly rather than young adults. However, it should be noted that there is a question mark over the safety of long-term creatinine supplementation. In adults, there is a positive correlation between musical training and IQ, but it is not evident that musical training has a positive effect on emotional intelligence and has been shown to positively influence linguistic abilities. Musically trained kids showed greater improvement in finger motor skills and auditory discrimination skills, spatial navigational reasoning, visual form analysis, numerical discrimination, and receptive vocabulary. They showed structural brain differences in regions linked with motor and auditory processing and various frontal areas, the left posterior perisingulate and a left middle occipital region. But this may relate to the brain's need to integrate information from various modalities, visual, motor, auditory. It can be concluded that the effects of music on IQ may be small or negligible, transient, and probably confined to spatial intelligence. Several factors can lead to significant cognitive impairment, particularly if they occur during pregnancy and childhood when the brain is growing and the blood-brain barrier is less effective. It includes pollutants, lead, mercury, and organochlorides, alcohol, smoking, and drugs, marijuana, cannabis, cocaine. Head injuries and mental illnesses can also cause cognitive impairment. Mozart effect, Francis Rauscher and Gordon Shaw reported that college students who listened to 10 minutes of Mozart's sonata for two pianos showed an increase in IQ of eight to nine points on the spatial subtest on the Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale. The phenomenon was coined the Mozart effect. However, the phenomenon is temporary and is due to short-term improvement in the performance of certain kinds of mental tasks known as spatial temporal reasoning. Flynn Effect The Flynn Effect is defined as the sustained increase in the raw intelligence of humans over time. IQ test scores have been rising at an average rate of around 3 IQ points per decade. Attempted explanations have included improved nutrition, a trend towards smaller families, better education, greater environmental complexity, and heterosis, the occurrence of genetically superior offspring from mixing the genes of its parents. Another proposition is the gradual spread of test-taking skills. The Flynn effect has been too rapid for genetic selection to be the cause.